Okay, this is the house in the Mary Girl subdivision. Uh, it's near Wyoming and Puritan. This is a four bedroom, three level house, uh, brick colonial. Um, nice area, it's in the Mary Girl subdivision, not too far from the UAD. Uh, District UD Jesuit High School. Very, very nice, desirable area to live in. There's a couple of vacants on the block, but you know, not a lot. Uh, it's about every home on this block is a brick colonial, three and four bedrooms. Uh, same thing with this property here. Uh, it is a three bedroom brick, it's a four bedroom brick, I'm sorry, four bedroom brick colonial. Let's go inside. Okay, we're inside the house here in the Mary Girl subdivision. The theme for this one is just big. You know, it's a huge house, big house, huge potential. Okay, I'm gonna do 360 panorama shots in every room to get a good feel for the property. And um, we're gonna definitely try to keep this thing under 20, under 10 minutes for the YouTube upload. Okay, so this is uh, would be considered the living room. Okay, big space. Okay, as you can see, huge space. All right. As I am, I mean, basically what we call the vestibule. I am uh, entering the living room. Okay, it's a natural fireplace over there. I got a big picture window over here. Uh, once again, natural fireplace. There's a couple of chairs, some items. This house does need to be cleaned out. Okay. Our hardwood floors down. I'm gonna take a quick 360 shot. We're gonna keep this video uh, under 10 minutes as always. Okay, that's the fireplace there. The big picture window. There's a couch here as well. Hardwood floors down here. Some boxes. Yellow paint. Decorative molding up top. That's the front door there. I want to move on to uh, probably considered the dining room, dining room areas. Once again, the key word for today is huge. Okay, it's just a huge piece of property. Okay, uh, window needs to be uh, repaired there. Uh, drywall, house needs to be, this room probably needs to be scraped, painted, prime. Someone had started some of this work. As you can see, there's some sheetrock up. Some priming had been started already. Uh, this is uh, that's access to the kitchen, so it almost as look as someone was going to put um, getting real creative with what they could do with this room here. It looks like uh, so. We're going to take a quick 360 shot. Okay, this is what we would consider the dining room. Okay, you have access to the living room. Okay, it's 360. There's a window there, place items, drinks, food. That's the access to the kitchen. Now here, uh, this is just an extra room. Um, glass blocks uh, all the way around in the back. Um, this could be a nook area or just a den. Um, this extra room once again. So um, it's a good open floor space. Uh, as you can see, as I'm standing in the room, you can see access to the dining room and the living room. So it's a lot of space. As I stated, the word for the day is huge. Okay, it's a big house. This once again, new subfloor down, um, paint, drywall repair prime, and you get this house ready to go. This here would be the kitchen slash nook area once again. Uh, you got OSB down here right now, so you can probably go with a peel and stick or ceramic tile. Looks like someone was starting here in regards to um, starting to get the repairs so together. You know, the kitchen is. And sink cabinet set here, okay. Somewhere it already started there. You see some priming done back there, drywall screws and some of the drywall up against the boards. All right, some of the stuff once again has already been started. So, you know, the house does need a lot of work, you know, but the potential is limitless uh, just because of the huge space. Okay, so this is would be considered the kitchen. All right, this is your kitchen sink. access to the dining room okay it's just a dining room living room and this would be a half bath in here you know toilet sink vanity okay 
really, really nice space. So that'd be a half bath on the first floor. I'm gonna venture upstairs. This house has uh, four bedrooms. Okay. Four bedrooms, one and a half bath, a finished basement with a bar. Okay. As I stated, the house does need to be cleaned out. We'll venture into every room real quickly. It look like we're doing pretty good on keeping the video under 10 minutes. All right, we're gonna call this one bedroom number one. Once again, house needs to be cleaned out. Uh, as you can see, two windows in a closet. Two windows in a closet. And this would be considered bedroom number one. And hardwood floors down here. I right, got a couple chairs, some items that need to be cleaned out of the house. Now I'm gonna venture into the bathroom. Okay, it's the upstairs bathroom here. Full bath, have a bathtub. Okay, once again, some of the work. You can see some of the work that was started by someone who had the house prior. And you can see some, some priming doing. Someone was trying to do some work here. Uh, bathroom sink. All right, so that's bathroom. So be, we'll talk to call this one bedroom two. Okay. Once again, you got some sheetrock up here. Okay, so someone has started some of the repairs for his house. This room has got some partial scraping done to it, so someone scraped already. We got sheetrock here. They were going to do something here. It looked like they were going to build a closet in this here. So some of this stuff has been done for you. It's not as though you're coming in doing everything. As that, sh that sheetrock has been placed, put in place with studs behind it. So... Not totally bare bones, but needs some work nonetheless. Uh, that was uh, two windows in the closet as well that they were building out. Once again, this, that's access to the balcony. There's a balcony in the back. Uh, so you got that as well. You got two windows in the closet here as well. As stated, this house, this room needs to be cleaned out. Uh, just some things in here, some jerseys and you know, some items that need to be cleaned out. Some VHS tapes too. So, uh, what does that look like? Aladdin, is that what that is? Okay. A little humor. Okay, so this is uh, three bedrooms all on the second floor. Yeah, so that was, uh, we'll just go quickly, duck our heads in here. Bedroom number one. Okay, bathroom number two. Okay. Bedroom number two. Okay. And we'll do bedroom number three in here, okay? And now this is the fourth bedroom, sort of almost like a loft area. So it's the third floor here. Really, 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 really nice house. This is the extra amenity out there, you know, for anybody that's trying to find a renter. We always talk about in this business, getting a renter as quickly as possible. You know, this helps you here. You know, this, this doesn't hurt you at all at any point, you know, to be able to have a renter. You know, like the space, like the area. Okay. Once again, as you can see, someone did start some of the work. So you're not going bare bones here. Some of the work is done. Does all of it doesn't have to be done by you, but some of the work has been done. Uh, bedroom in here, some VHS tape, stuff that needs to be cleared out. Um, but once again, um, it's a pretty, pretty big, big, huge. Huge home with tons and tons and tons of potential. Okay. We're going to venture downstairs. And that's going to conclude the video on this one. Once we get downstairs. Downstairs is a partial finish. We'll try to do the best we can in regards to getting proper lighting downstairs. Sure if this is coming out really good we'll hope hope for the best 
This is a, a partial finish basement that has a bar. Um, furnished in hot water. Tank is missing in this home. Um, but hopefully some of this stuff is coming out. I'm not sure if it is. It's really dark down here. So I'm going to take the impression that it's not coming out. Um, but there's a, we'll, we'll include pictures of, of the bar and some of this stuff down here. Um, so if anyone needs to request to see this, uh, what the basement does look like, we'll include that. But uh, for now, that will conclude the video of the house and the merry-go-sub.